I know so Just much more about that. everything than you do, Bev. You know nothing about geometry. You don't even know what a tangent is. You don't oh. even know the gradient of a curve. I mean, it's just incredible. You don't even seem to understand how you can, <laughs> the angle between two curves. I mean, you just don't know anything about the subjects on which you pronounce. It's incredible, really. He's after another you don't understand, I think. You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. You do See you later, Rumpus. Been good. Yeah. No, come back at any time. Rumpus. Next time. Feel free to monologue as much as you like whenever you're here. You can have a tangent to anything, including a horizontal. It's not a terribly useful thing to do to a horizontal. Probably, even a non Euclidean situation, I think you probably couldn't do it. I think Bertram Russell will be required to do that. Oh, it was one never defined before Bertram Russell came. Not in a philosophical sense, and I think that's what you'd have to do. If you think you can't have tangents in non-Euclidean space, you're an idiot. Parallel lines will meet. You don't understand geometry. He, he demonstrated he spent an entire book showing that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Yes, Bertrand Russell, you moron! You don't understand. Yes, Bertrand Russell, you moron! I know so Just much more about that. everything than you do. It's not my problem. In mathematics, please define one. Yes, Bertrand Russell, you moron! I think Bertrand Russell would probably have to get involved to do that. Yes, Bertrand Russell, you moron! <laughs> you don't understand it. You don't, you don't, under, you don't understand it. I suspect you don't understand if you like Bev. You don't even understand how you construct a tangent to a curve. You don't have to have a context for that. It's a pure abstract thought. No context required, Gene. And of course, you can't do any of that, Bev, because you can't do maths at all. Are you all sure started. you're okay now with what a tangent is? Are you sure? Well, it does seem it does seem as though um, uh, that it does have to be to a curve, so I yeah. agree that that. You can have one plus one is mathematics. That's got nothing to do with geometry. You don't understand. Well, you don't understand you don't a tangent. Understand. No, you don't understand anything. It's not my problem if you don't want to learn. You're just on your own. Well, I mean, you're just ignorant. I mean, you just know nothing about this subject. There's no point talking to you about it. That's how little he understands about tangents. He's possibly the most, one of the most important philosophers in the history of man. Yes, Bertrand Russell, you moron! But you don't understand it. You need to be very, you need to know lots about tangents and all the things you don't know not what Euclid wrote down. Well, he was going to the, the basis of the foundation of maths and understanding. It's not useful. Bev can't do anything with the information. He, what he does know, he can't do anything with it. He could not produce anything useful mathematically and use it to do something useful. All he can do is recite what's parrot-like, what's in Euclid. But no one uses that. It's not part yeah, of rubbish, analytical rubbish. geometry. You didn't understand what I was doing because no. you don't understand what a tangent is. You don't understand. I know so Just much more about that. everything than you do. Yes, Bertrand Russell, you moron. That a tangent to a curve has the same gradient as the curve at the point of contact. No reason, no logic, no wisdom, no worry. You still don't understand that. You're just on your own. No reason, no logic, no answers to questions. Because you're stupid, you can only see everything in pictures. You're just on your own. Because you don't understand tangents, you don't understand curves, you don't understand gradients, and you don't understand the maths that you use. The Euclid stuff is almost useless to modern mathematicians and people who want to do geometry because they have to do it with formulas and maths, and that's how they represent stuff in geometry, not the sort of basic Stone Age stuff that Euclid did. The fact that you've read up on some bloody This is Euclidean a tangent, Rumpus. No one uses this arcane 
archaic crap that you love to talk about because it's so simple it's not useful in anything you wish to do anything no one uses the euclidean rules they have to do it in what's called analytical geometry where you've got coordinates and numbers and you can't cope with any of that because you don't understand math i think bertrand russell will be required to do that no was one never defined before bertrand russell came not in a philosophical sense, and I think that's what you'd have to do. <laughs> you don't understand it. You don't. You don't understand. You don't understand it. I suspect you don't understand if you like Bev. You don't even understand how you construct a tangent to a curve. You see, you're too stupid. You're not qualified to talk you don't to me. Understand. Yes, Bertrand Russell, you moron. You don't understand. I know so Just much more about that. everything than you do. It's not my problem. You don't understand it. You don't. You don't understand. You don't understand it. I suspect you don't understand. If you like Bev, you don't even understand how you construct a tangent to a curve. In mathematics, please define one. I think Bertrand Russell would probably have to get involved to do that. Yes, Bertrand Russell, you moron. And all this is a mystery to you because you don't understand any maths at all. It's not useful. Bev can't do anything with the information he what he does know. He can't do anything with it. He could not produce anything useful mathematically and use it to do something useful. All he can do is recite what's parrot-like, what's in Euclid. But no one uses that. It's not part of the analytical geometry. I know so much more about everything than you do. The Euclid stuff is almost useless to modern mathematicians. It's not my problem if you don't want to learn. You're just on your own. Well, a tangent is supposed to be touching at one point, so obviously... But isn't it a straight line to a curved surface, rumpus? That's normally how you would use it, yes. I think Bertrand Russell will be required to do that. No, oh, was one never defined before Bertrand Russell came. Not in a philosophical sense, and I think that's what you'd have to do. Because I know what I'm talking about, and you don't. <laughs> My God! You're even more stupid than I think it's possible. He, well, he was going to the, the basis of the foundation of maths and understanding. The Euclid stuff is almost useless to modern mathematicians and people who want to do geometry, because they have to do it with <laughs> formulas and maths, and that's how they represent stuff in geometry, not the sort of basic Stone Age stuff that Euclid did. You don't the Euclid stuff is almost useless to modern mathematicians. You don't yes, Bertrand Russell, you moron! Science has got proof! Here we go! Rumpus, I knew Rumpus would be the guy! I did hear question yes, is it two straight lines? How can you play the space? No reason, no logic, no answers to questions. I mean okay, they do seem to be talking about it in terms of curves. So, you know, it's obviously not oh, useful to straight Come on, lines. Rumpus, you didn't just have to fucking Google a tangent, did you? Well, oh, yeah. I, didn't just, know. I was just checking. Oh, you wanted to check? You wanted to check? Yeah, okay. They else, do, right? they, just, they do talk about being, I mean obviously it's only useful in concept would be to a curve, but I didn't realise it was actually defined, they specifically used the word curve in the definition, at least that's the definition we got. No yeah. worries, you learned something new tonight, if you didn't know it, yeah. no worries, yeah. we're all human. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, I see. You just. Um, did you hear my question, Rumpus? I did hear a question, yes. Is it two straight lines? How can, can they enclose a space? I think probably even on something that's bending. I don't think there's a non Euclidean shape that would enable. I think it always. Make it bend away, parallel lines will meet on a non-Euclidean stuff. 
Um, Not but I robbers. don't think that would be sufficient. Even if they met, you'd still need something else to enclose it. So I would probably, even a non-Euclidean situation, I think you probably couldn't do it. <laughs> Excellent. What? Rumpus? Wow. Rumpus well, doesn't simple. know much about what he's talking about. I know so Just much more about that. everything than you do, Bev. You know nothing about geometry. You don't even know what a tangent is. You don't oh. even know the gradient of a curve. I mean, it's just incredible. You don't even seem to understand how you can, <laughs> the angle between two curves. I mean, you just don't know anything about the subjects on which you pronounce. It's incredible, really. Did you My watch the video we went that. over the other day, Rumpus? I didn't hear that you were overtaught by someone. Did, did you watch the video we went over the other day? No. Oh. You should have done, really. I went no, over the tangent bit at the beginning. You, well, you don't understand you a tangent. Why well, should I watch some? Why should I watch an idiot talk about something on a subject of which they know nothing? Well, we it was actually we were reviewing something that it was you that was saying. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. That sounds a little bit more interesting. Well, but yeah, but you'll have come to the wrong conclusion. So. Okay, you said a tangent to a horizontal. You do know that the artificial horizon in an aeroplane will change angle as you move along the surface of the Earth. It yeah. always keeps you to a tangent, to a not? horizontal. No, I never. I was asked one question about a tangent by somebody. It wasn't really. I've never. Dis I've never volunteered such a thing. But... To a tangent, to a not? horizontal. But, but the, the tangent to a horizontal. I mean, the, you you have a, you can have a tangent to anything, including a horizontal. It's not a terribly useful thing to do to a horizontal. To a tangent to a not? horizontal. Because that would be the same as the horizontal. So it's not something, it's not a useful concept in math. So to a tangent to a not? horizontal. No one would bother to even raise it as an issue. So you couldn't have a tangent to a horizontal then? Well, you can. It's the same thing as the you horizontal. You can't have a tangent to a fucking horizontal. Yes, you can. Well, if you want to say that the tangent. Define it first, Rumpus, and you'll see you can do it. Well, it all depends, I suppose, whether a tangent um, can obviously is therefore intersecting at all along its line, and therefore it's actually sharing all its points with the horizontal. So, I suppose you could argue... I mean, just like parallel lines you on top... Don't you don't argue talk. about geometry, Rumpus. But you don't understand it. You don't understand say geometry. Just say the definition out loud, Rumpus. Just say well, it out loud. Well, I mean, a obviously, well, a tangent is supposed to be touching at one point, so obviously... But isn't it a straight line to a curved surface, Rumpus? That's normally how you would use it, yes. So just, just saying that should automatically make you think of... Wait a minute. Here. Well, I don't know. Well, I'm not sure there's a How tangent. How could it be to a straight line if the definition? Well, I don't know. I don't, I, if the definition, I don't think it necessarily has to. Well, I suppose that part of the definition, whether what it touches is curved or not, I said. That's the. Uh, that's what makes it a tangent, Rumpus. Um. Would. Oh come on, Rumpus! It's not a use. It's not Stop a use. I'm trying say, it's to pretend useful, you know what concept. you're talking about. For fuck's sake! I know sake. so much more about everything than you do, Bev. You know yeah. nothing about this subject. The fact that you've read up on some bloody this is a tangent, Rumpus. No one uses this arcane, archaic crap that you love to talk about because it's so simple. It's not useful in anything you wish to do. Anything. No one uses. The Euclidean was they have to do it in what's called analytical geometry, where you've got coordinates and numbers, and you can't cope with any of that because you don't understand maths. <laughs> a tangent would never be used in any other context than Euclidean because that's the only way the tangent is actually useful and also defined. You can have tangents in non Euclidean space. What are you talking about? Yeah, you can say whatever you want. It works when you say, <laughs> you know. You're just making stuff up. There's nothing yeah, yeah, when you do that, then space. you have no restriction. Yeah, exactly. Go for it. Go for what? You said you're just making shit up. I said I'm saying go for it. Yeah, you can do whatever you want when you're just making well, no, shit I'm up. I'm relaying to you how things are. If you think you can't have tangents in non-Euclidean space, you're an idiot. 
I just agreed with you. You can do whatever you want when you make your shit up. <laughs> you don't understand it. You don't. You don't understand. You don't understand it. I suspect you don't understand if you like Bev. You don't even understand how you construct a tangent to a curve. No, he's no, right. I'm, he's right. I you mean, can I've imagine drawn, whatever I mean, you I've want. I've even drawn it on yeah. screen and Bev's yeah, not that's understand. That's what I'm saying. What? I understand that when you just no, make you, shit no, up. No, 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 you don't understand anymore. anything. No, you don't understand anything. I mean, Bev didn't even know where I drew a tangent for him. He got confused about where it was and what and what part of a line I was drawing had to make contact with it. He thought the width of the line was important. That's how little he understands about tangents. I mean, let's go and look at the definition of tangent. I mean, yes, I mean, obviously, it's, it's only useful in the concept of a curve, but whether or not I... You know, that, that sort of trivial point... It's not useful. Bev can't do anything with the information he what he does know. He can't do anything with it. He could not produce anything useful mathematically and use it to do something useful. All he can do is recite what's parrot like, what's in Euclid. But no one uses that. It's not okay, part of rumpus, analytical rumpus. geometry. Can we call a triangle a circle? No. No. Okay. So how is it that we can call a tangent? something that it isn't which is a straight line to a curved surface at a point okay let's have How a can go we, hold on let me finish how okay, can okay. you redefine it as two straight lines i didn't define it as two straight lines when did i do that well, you said a tangent to a to a, what did you say to a plane to a horizontal to a horizontal so hor your question was about a horizontal yeah so how could it how could a, ta a, a tangent be a straight line to a horizontal well it would be it, part it's defined well, no, it, as a straight line to a curved surface at a point, Rumpus. Horizontals well, aren't curved, are they, Rumpus? No, they're not. No, so it can't be a... So how could it be, Rumpus? Well, I mean, you've got to at least admit that, bro. I mean, come on. Hold on. I'm, hold on. I'm looking at what the definition, exactly what the definition of a tangent is. I know it's supposed <laughs> to be just touching at one point, but then the question is... Look it suppose... up, look it up. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, okay, they do seem to be talking about it in terms of curves. So, I mean, it's obviously not oh, useful to what? a straight line. Come on, Rumpus. You didn't just have to fucking Google a tangent, did you? Well, yeah, yeah. I, was just, didn't know. I was just checking. Oh, yeah. you wanted to check? You wanted to check? Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So you yeah. found it, right? So I was right what I said, the definition. So it cannot be something they else. Do, right? They do. They do. They do talk about being... I mean, obviously, it's only useful in concept would be to a curve, but I didn't realise it was actually defined they specifically use the word curve in the definition at least that's the definition we got no here. worries you learned something new tonight if you didn't know it yeah. no worries yeah. we're all human here we go Let's just control and you know you said nobody uses euclidean yeah you uh, don't use it it's not analytical geometry. When you want to do something useful in geometry, you have you know, to have numbers with have it. You, you don't understand of, how to do that. Have you heard of Pythagoras's theorem? That's that's analytical geometry. It's it's Euclidean geometry, Rumpus. No, it's analytical. It's got numbers and coordinates in it. Proposition forty-seven, Euclidean geometry. It could have been the triangle axiom, and they would have sorted. Uh, it's. Euclidean geometry is, is a rock-solid statement if they'd have put that useful. there. Analytical geometry is where you put numbers and coordinates on it. Then yeah, it's we're useful. not talking about that. We're talking yes, about Euclidean geometry, the foundations of geometry. Yeah, but it's not, use no, it's not useful. You have to, to get it to is. analytical it's geometry useful to useful do useful things. It's sort of the thing well, that the tells you what a tangent is. Part is part of analytical geometry. Now, whether it's also defining Euclid, okay, might be, but... Then you have to put numbers to it. Now, you know, you've said yourself, there's no maths in Euclid. It's have you not? Geometry. You've made that statement. Geometry. Is there numbers there's in no it? There's no numbers. Did you think right, numbers is or maths, variables. Rumpus? Is that what you variables. just did then? Did you think maths is numbers? Well, it used variables. Did you well. make a little slip there, Rumpus? Well, I'm saying do you, you don't do like putting you numbers Do you think into maths is numbers, Rumpus? No, I don't. No, okay. So but you geometry is it, maths, isn't but you... it? Geometry is not maths. Maths is much more than geometry. But geometry is mathematics, isn't it, Rumpus? Is geometry mathematics? Ooh, it's a branch a of mathematics, one. I would say. So it is mathematics. No, it's a branch of mathematics. That what you've just do, done is to imply that it's the whole of mathematics. No, it's a part it's of the foundations mathematics. of mathematics. 
No, it's not the foundations of mathematics. A simple concept. It's part of starting mathematics. off with an axiom. No, you can have one plus one is mathematics. That's got nothing to do with geometry, you twat. One plus one is meaningless without context, though. No, it's not. What's well, context one? can be I'm adding two things together and I'm ending up with two things. What's one? I don't have to have a context for that. It's a pure abstract thought. No context required. Jesus. You just gave me a context, though. No, I didn't. I told you that one plus one is equal to two. That's not a, there's no context involved in that. It's an abstract idea. No context required. Yeah, well, you would have to tell me what one is. No, I don't. It's an abstract concept. It's because you can't. Elemental, isn't it? Well, you can define things in, when you want to have an abstract idea. You define Go on. Def define what you want one to have. for us. Go on. You do it. No, you. You. No, you, you do it. You said no, you, you define <laughs> things. You're the please. one that brought it up. This is no, no, but, no, but, no, but, no, but you seem to think you seem to think um, just, just, you can't have just an abstract. No, just define just, you, one. Instead for of me us. having to do all the answers, I think you ought to provide no, you, one. For you once. were the ones that said you could define it, Rumpus. No, I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Go on. I said just, it is defined. One. It's the first one, Rumpus. It's the first thing. Just number one. One in mathematics. Please define one. I think Bertrand Russell would probably have to get involved to do that. Bertrand Russell? Too. Bertrand Russell, yes. What, to define one? Yes, Are you I sure? Think, I think Bertrand Russell would be required to do that. Oh, was one never defined before Bertrand Russell came? Not in a philosophical sense, and I think that's what you'd have to do. Yeah, I'm going to need Bertrand Russell for that. <laughs> To Russell for defining you don't, one. You presume you don't know who Bertrand Russell was. Yeah, I mean, you, no, you, I'm not going to claim you don't know. No, yeah. no, you don't know. No, you don't. Um, some some dude, hey, eh? that's right. Yeah. Someone very someone important. that defined you, you one. For <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's important. Can you remember? He, can you remember he, how he, he defined he proved, it, Rumpus? He he demonstrated. He spent an entire book showing that one plus one is equal to two. Right. Well, how anyway. did he define one in that book, Rumpus? I can't remember. Oh, what? Did you, it's something did you, to do. Did you I read think the he book? Did it with, he did it with group theories, I remember. It took him a I whole book to define what? One plus one is two. He did. That was part of what his book was about, but that was essentially what it was about, doing things like that. Wow, that sounds like a riveting book. It was it, a whole as book a very for significant... one plus one is two. It was a bit more than that, but that was what he was thinking. He was just basically trying to prove the I bet fundamentals. He, I bet about. he was a right head worker, wasn't he? A what? I bet he was a right philosophicalist. He's possibly to... the most, one of the most important philosophers in the history of man. Give over. You know, you're ignorant again. You just demonstrate you know nothing about anything. Bertrand Russell. Yes, Bertrand Russell, you moron. Right. No need to shout. It's okay. I mean, obviously, he's needed to define one. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, I mean... true. That's very important. That. Well, he was going to the the basis of the foundation of maths and understanding. Well, he did all sorts of stuff. He didn't do maths, Rumpus. Come on. If, well, I mean, you're just ignorant. I mean, you just know nothing about this subject. There's no point in talking to you about it. Yeah, well, don't don't bother um, then. Hey, I I'd, I'd best uh, leave it if I were you. The, but the thing about yeah, I mean, it does. It is part. Yeah, the definition of a tangent does seem to be revolving around a curve. But you see, this is all, these are the sorts of archaic things that have no use to anybody because no one who actually deals with tangents. Yeah, I mean, I've needs written tangents programs. and. No, 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 everyone needs tangents because you don't understand what they are. But to do something stuff, useful with them, you have to take an, what's called using analytical geometry or calculus. You need to be very, you need to know lots about tangents and all the things you don't know, not what Euclid wrote down. The Euclid stuff is almost useless to modern mathematicians and people who want to do geometry because they have to do it with <laughs> formulas and maths, and that's how they represent stuff in geometry, not the sort of basic Stone Age stuff that Euclid did and the sort of empirical stuff. You, the only useful stuff you can do is with variables and maths representing geometric functions and operations 
And of course, you can't do any of that, Bev, because you can't do maths at all. And you still don't understand what a tangent is. When I drew one for you, you got confused about where the tangent was to a curve. I was are you, are you, you sure you're OK now with what a tangent is? Are you sure? Well, it does seem it does seem as though um, uh, that it does have to be to a curve. So I yeah. agree that. That, but that's, right, so you, know, you that's would not, agree now then, right? There's that's no way that straight line could be parallel to that curve, right? No way. It's not what possible, straight is line it? Parallel to what curve? What the tangent parallel to the curve. It's not parallel to the curve. I know it can't be, can it? There's no possible way that tangent could ever be parallel it's part of the curve, the curve. I tried it can't. you reject it when i showed you how something was a tangent it was part of the curve and you didn't understand that it touches the curve at one point and one yes. point only and i drew it's it on there and you got confused about where the line was and where the edge of the line was and you got confused and you didn't understand what i was doing because no. you don't understand what a tangent is Mm -hmm. You don't understand that a tangent to a curve has the same gradient as the curve at the point of contact. You still don't understand that. And then you get excited about the thickness of the line because you want to do everything graphically. Because you're stupid, you could only see everything in pictures. And so when I tried to draw it for you, you got confused about the thickness of lines and didn't understand the concept. Because you don't understand tangents, you don't understand curves, you don't understand gradients, and you don't understand the maths that used to do these things, which are absolutely crucial. And, the, and that's what Newton determined with calculus, how to work out the gradient or tangent of a curve at any particular point. And all this is a mystery to you, because you don't understand any maths at all. Rumpus has probably got me muted, so can pro somebody ask him for me, what is the gradient of the curve at the intersection point with the tangent? Gradient of the point. I mm -hmm. For some reason, I don't have you muted, oh. but that was a reasonable question. So you want to know how you... Do what the gradient... What the gradient of the curve is at the intersection point with the tangent line. That's all I want to know. Get you a dull diagram I've got here. Just tell me what the gradient is, Rumpus. Well, it depends on the curve, doesn't it? The gradient. That's no, it depends, on the, depends on the point, not you the curve. The point. Yes, it, of course it changes with what the curve is. My God. No, he Can said you... at the point where yes, the but tangent it depends meets. What sort of curve you've got? What the gradient is at that point? My God. You're even more stupid than I think it's possible. Here we are. I'm showing you a diagram. So each intersection point has got right. a different gradient. Yeah, so... Well, no, there's only one intersection. Look, here, here on screen, I have... Oh, I didn't mean each circle. intersection point with the tangent line. Just, I meant each just intersection put a point. In the, uh, chat, Rumpus. There's only one intersection point. Just yeah, I know that, Rumpus. Put it in the chat, so Rumpus. Let, given the fact your question's stupid, I'll just show you a diagram that helps, perhaps it might help With you it, out. do us an you arrow. Just said it was... Screenshot, Rumpus, so... please. Put an arrow and put here is the gradient. Right, I'm, not, I'm, I'm sharing my screen to show you. No, it's okay. Just do us a you screenshot. Know, as per usual, you see, here we go. Put it in the Whenever chat. Whenever I try and show Bev a diagram to demonstrate there's a more... Who are you talking to, Rumpus? It so that you can't see I'm not it. censoring so it. That's, that's quite amusing. Every time you talk about people, you want people to come and contribute. What you should do, Rumpus, if you want to put this out, you get a video and you it, video it, and then you put it out. It, you actually want to censor people. If you want to, um, so that's fine. So DP, anybody, DP so okay, asked you. You can, you can ignore this, Ben. DP, can you else, get us a screenshot of it screen, and put it in the chat for to, us? i my screen, and Bev can hide it and censor it all he wants, and I'll show you the people who are interested. It's, it screen. was DP that asked you for it. Yes, doesn't matter. Okay, whoever's interested in the answer. So here I've got a circle, and here I've drawn a tangent to a uh, point, which uh, as, and it's a circle. So the, here we here we have the point, and here we have the tangent to that point. And that tangent is only valid for this point. And obviously, we've drawn the gradient. I've extended the gradient of the circle at that point to make it clearer. So that is the gradient the of gradient? the circle at this point here. And if you pick another point, it'll have a different tangent and a different gradient. And Where is this? understand this. Where is his gradient? This line here, this tangent, has a gradient. 
Yeah, I'm asking you what the gradient is, Rumpus. Well, it depends on the point I pick on. So if I pick where's, on here, where's the gradient? It has one gradient. If I go and pick a point, point up here, I'll get one. So it's dependent on the point you're interested in. Can he point in. at the, where the gradient is for that point that it's on the at? Curve. I've chosen a circle here. If I were to do another wiggly line, for instance, here, if I were to draw a wiggly line here, and then I'll say, you could ask me, what's the he curve? Draws a what's circle, the gradient he? this point here? So then I mean, I'd have he to tell you that. So, so you need two things. You need to know the curve, <laughs> and you need to know okay, the so, curve. Yep. So you've said that it is the gradient of the curve is parallel with the tangent, yeah? No, it is the tangent, you stupid wanker. The tangent is, is the gradient. You do yeah, realise what... we know what we're talking about, I right, Rumpus? I keep on telling you this, and you don't absorb it. Well, the you now think you might be telling us wrong, then, Rumpus. Is the gradient at that point? Do you... you don't understand this fundamental concept is why you don't understand tangents. Did you absorb anything, Rampus? No, he doesn't do active listening. Because I know what I'm talking about and you don't. <laughs> you know nothing. You see, you're too stupid. You're not qualified to talk to me. You know nothing. <laughs> you know why are you fucking shouting? You're why are you shouting? Answer deepest question. Okay, like yeah, like yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Watch game. out, skeptical. This is this is, is rumpus. Do you know rumpus, skeptical? Of the curve. Because like you, you have to, to watch out. It's treating with kid gloves. With. You need the mathematical representation of it, and then you need to know the point you're interested. Got a rather big head. Gradient of a point. Yeah. And mm. there is the gradient. <laughs> the gradient and the, and the point on the, is the tangent. And that is the but same thing. But it isn't. Thing. Like, you know That's we know tangent. it isn't, right? And that is Rumpus. the same as the tangent. And this is fundamental to maths. If you did but he doesn't do active listening. Yeah. He's you just too busy talking to himself at the moment. I don't think he's even noticed that if you have to did, put the X and the Y <laughs> axis on there before you can fucking get a gradient. Rumpus. This is fundamental. You're a dick. You don't know. Well, you clearly, whoever just made that comment, has ne ne clearly never it's done It's a new guy, Rumpus. Please be nice. He's, the, he's new. Well, he's a wanker. Oh, he well, see, there you go. I mean, that's what your people team. get round when you come round here. Sorry, sceptical, but... But you're a yeah, this is Rumpus. Oh, we don't I'm normally allow people like this in, in, in the server. But... I'm Have you no, heard of Rumpus? Step back and let him and just talk to me. Yeah. I've, yeah. Turned, I've turned him down. Yeah, if he, if you had too much, I'd yeah. just turn him down. He'll just go on. He'll just go on for hours talking yeah. to so you, himself you now. Just, you don't understand basic principles yeah, yeah. of math. He, he likes that. Have you, Rumpus? Have you ever been to the real world or not? Yeah, he did. He ran away from us when he seen us on the bridge. He went, ooh, Bev DP, bloods and a spot on on the bridge. I best run. Run, 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 kill us, really, Rampus. And then he went into Jose's the following Monday and beat his chest. No, I don't have the question. Obviously, I have no clue what anything is. Yeah. You don't know that I was talking about qualifications, calculus. apparently. So how, how could do anyone know, with... know as much as <laughs> the Rumpus? Rumpus? You don't know basic calculus. Nobody would know anything if Rumpus wasn't here. I mean, like, he does, he does <laughs> lessons every week, you know. On what 16 year olds know. No, listen, Rumpus. This is, what I'm describing to you is fundamental to maths right. at the you age can... of 16 and younger. The fact you don't uh, know this and you think I'm somehow telling you rubbish means no, no. you are ill-educated you've got the IQ of a root vegetable. I didn't say that you're telling me rubbish at all. I'm just saying, if I know nothing and you know everything and I never talked to you I'm before... Uh, okay, well, you know everything that you I don't know, know, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah of course. You know mm-hmm, yeah. But I never talked to you before, so how am I supposed to know this stuff? You know? Well, I mean... You've okay. never had a chance to teach him before, Rumpus. Like, go easy on him. Like, you've already told him he doesn't know, so now's your chance to explain it. Surely. No, you teach him, Rumpus. You've already told him he doesn't know. I don't know. What is math? Do you know what calculus is? You told me I have no clue. Well, I'm asking you. Yeah, but you're already <laughs> told me. Yeah, what? Well, 
So that was an, an assumption before I'm rumpus. Now you're at, you, you're sort of doing this the wrong way round. You should ask questions first. It's like active listening. Like he's it's, it's not very good at this, is he? <laughs> you told me I have no clue. Well, you know it's way better than me. So why don't you teach me? Yeah. Does he no. does he need to know what calculus is, Rumpus? Does he need to? Can can you teach him what it is? Do you know what calculus help him help him out, Rumpus? Come on. Do you know what calculus is? You can see he's struggling. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Why are you not answering the question? Give him. I don't even the the word itself, calculus. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? Start Rumpus? at the beginning for him, Rumpus. Right at the very beginning. Define. One. There you go. Start there. Like, go on. You're allowed to say you don't know. Define don't define know. one for him at the beginning, and but then we'll so work our know, way up from there. Is, then. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay. Not got a clue. Go on. Right, so you don't know what calculus Help him out. Do you know how to work out the gradient? Well, clearly you. Do. I mean, you. From what Start you're at what one, and we'll teach him. Don't know how to how he to doesn't even know what one is. Really. Rumpus, define it for him. If I were to give you a function of y is equal to x squared, could you tell me what the gradient of that curve was at any point? Start at one, Rumpus, at the very so basics. Dark. And go go easy with I him as Bev well. couldn't do that. Like, go Bev, easy. So Bev wouldn't be able to do, for instance, that answer that question. He would not be able to tell me what the gradient of y is equal to x squared is at any point. I'm wondering if you can do it. Oh, oh, so you, now you're bringing the x and the y into the gradient thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bit late. Could have done that a bit before, couldn't you, Rumpus? You, when you didn't know where the fucking gradient was. If you don't, if you don't think realize that that was implied, then you are a complete moron. You see, this is it, Bev. You seem to. You think couldn't even really point at it, Rumpus. The rest of us assume that we're talking about this already. We don't have. No. To, we have difficulty. Yeah, don't make assumptions, Rumpus. Yeah, yeah. Not within mathematics. Like, you Surigaki, could you do that? I know Bev can't. No, no, no. When we bring up assumptions, like I would also assume that we know what parallel means. You know, it works both yeah. ways. You and know, straight, straight as well. Don't forget about straight. <laughs> Number one, of course. What about a tangent? He's only just he's only just learnt that a tangent is uh, touching a curve. I I don't know if they can change it later, but when I read about the definition of the tangent and went over it, it was about the circle in specific. I don't know if. Well, you can have tangents to any curve. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. So it cool. sounds as though you don't know how. So to you need a right line. So you need a straight line, line first. You you don't know how to work out the uh, tangent to a curve of a function y is equal to x squared. Okay, that's fine. But that's so. No, I was absolutely correct then in my analysis. That you're not educated. To a 16 year old in this country, in the UK, I don't know where you come from, but in this country, in the 60, if you're 16 and you start doing A levels, then you understand how to do what I just described. So, 16 year olds doing maths know more about maths than you do, and certainly know more than math, about maths than uh, Bev. And I don't know if other people in here would be able to answer that question. I don't know if Montreal would know what the how to work out the gradient of a y is equal to x squared anyway. you've already no, told us rumpus nobody knows anything you're the great I rumpus no i didn't say that yes and what worse is you know i don't Mont know anything more now than they've Mont Mont started talking Mont either he's not doing very good at teaching me Mont Montreal, would you know how to do that he's not he's not a, even started his lesson yet has he unless he no, just goes around berating people for a bit we are. okay so, you, so you do, do you know what calculus is montreal there we go again. I have basic understanding, but I'm not a math guy. I never liked math. <laughs> okay, right. So, so I know now. I mean, I was aware that Bev couldn't do anything with me. Yeah, I, I haven't got a clue, Rump. Oh, don't worry so, about me. You, you teach I mean, all of these I mean, lot. Don't worry about that. I and mean, you claimed at one point you can't use trigonometry to work out the angle of things. One famous occasion or was it about a year and a half ago when you Rumpus, you do that. like well, a year and a half ago. He doesn't right? even what, understand this because he has no clue. Rumpus, Rumpus, yeah, Rumpus let me ask you a question now. Do you think the knowledge of math can somehow bend a straight line? Well. It depends what you define as a straight line. If it's the shortest distance between two points and you're working in spherical geometry, then it is curved. <laughs> That's a ridiculous statement. That's a no, contradiction not. of terms. No, it's not. Yeah. Well, imagine a, imagine a football 
Imagine a football and I were to draw some lines on it. The lines on it would be curved, wouldn't they? But they would also be the shortest distance between the two points on the surface of the football. So but if you they're define... no longer straight. They're curved. Okay, well, agreed. Hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Montreal. If you define a straight line to be the shortest distance between two points and the surface you're dealing with is curved like that of a football, then the distance, shortest distance between two points is curved. Yeah, but it's not exactly. It's no longer a straight line, then, it right? It is. If you define well, no. a straight, hold on, hold on. If you define a straight line, this is non-Euclidean geometry, of course, being on the surface of a football. Of if course. You define, if you define a straight line to be the shortest distance between two points, that's a definition. Therefore, on spherical geometry on the surface of a football, on the shortest geometry. distance between two points is curved. Yeah, but surely that's wordsmithing because you know a straight line is a straight line. Now you can it's wordsmith not in a spherical onto geometry. a no, football. No, no, but Montreal did not see my reasoning. If you define a straight line to be in the Euclidean, two points. Is this mathematical then, right, reasoning? Yeah. But in, in, but in you Euclidean change geometry, definition, yes. Right. So there we Rumpus, are. So we agree. I agree with you. If Brilliant. you change the definition of a straight line, no, I haven't changed then the yes, you can make it curve. Yes. No, 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 no Montreal, the definition of a straight line is the shortest distance between two points. No, surely the shortest distance between those two points is through the sphere. Not yeah. If you can only move on the surface. If you're dealing with the surface, a <laughs> Are there uh, roadblocks? Like, are there restrictions? Red tape. I can go through the red tape. And it's very useful to have a geometry that does this because there are many occasions when you are moving on the To have a geometry. And therefore, you can have have the curve on them. And therefore, when you're only allowed to move on the surface of a curved surface, the shortest distance between two points, as defined, which defines a straight line, is a curve. But obviously, in Euclidean geometry, where we don't in reality a, not, rumpus that's where we're talking on. about well it's well if you define the reality as in our 3d world then yes then the shortest distance is well actually in our reality it's actually 4d space and you've got space time oh, uh, uh, space time <laughs> <laughs> of course we'd have to reality, wouldn't we? let's, let's, like, let's fancy let's us forgetting about space time 3D, shall measuring we? a I'm distance afraid, our reality is four dimensional not three Mm -hmm. Are you agreed, Rumpus, that the the uh, definition of a straight line is the shortest distance between two points in reality, right? right? The right. only way that it can curve is if you place it in non-Euclidean reality, like, for example, on a football. Yes. You agree? Or in 4D. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Really good. Wow. This is amazing stuff. Yeah, and, every, and everybody would... I mean, this is... I know... I mean, it's about you personally, but certainly people like Bev has not understood these concepts. And people He's have always said that. Repeatedly. Bev has no, always he, said no, he that. Hasn't. No, he hasn't. He hasn't understood <laughs> that a straight line in non uh -oh. geometry is curved. Because what? he's never... No one's ever been able to. He's not. He's all going to mute people. It, sense them. Rumpus, people you can have it being anything you lives. want in your imagination. That's what we've been telling you. you. Sarah Gaki told you that at you, the beginning. You're going up in my opinion. I have to say, Montreal, you've now picked it up. You've accepted. You've understood it all, and you're away. So well done, Rumpus. Listen, oh, this Bev is Bev priceless. Been saying this all along. <laughs> no, you're not, Bev has somehow not you misunderstood this. him. No, no, no. It, Bev has not understood this. In reality, a straight line can only be straight. No, that's, di now, no, that's different. No, no, hold on. In reality, we live in a 4D space, and therefore, you know, if you're near a black hole, for instance, <laughs> the space is curved. Come on. Space can be very curved, and a straight line can be curved. We live in Come a 4D space. Come on, Rumpus. A straight line turns into a spiral. You. you went out into a <laughs> la, -la I'm, land. Well, I'm afraid we live in 4D world. I know it's difficult to understand. and We didn't understand it until Einstein described it 100 years ago. So it is a difficult concept. And indeed, the maths associated with it is very complicated. And it's difficult to understand. And given the fact that you, as a, you already admitted, you didn't really like maths and didn't do it, the concepts are mathematical. I didn't say I didn't do it. Yeah, he didn't, didn't like say it. he didn't do it. Well, okay, but you didn't. Okay, well, you haven't done calculus, though, have you? Active listening, calculus, Rumpus. Yeah, Give sure. it a try. In high school. So, yeah. oh, well, hold on. Well, if you did calculus, I don't know whether you you've got an American idea about the word calculus. I know Americans <laughs> misuse the word, but calculus in terms of what differentiation and integration. Do you know what differentiation and integration? Uh, are? It's what only only Rumpus will know about this. Right, don't on, worry on, about it. It's calculus, calculus as in Rumpus. Just clear up whether you understood calculus. Do you understand what differentiation and integration are? 
What does that have to do with a straight line? <laughs> nothing. I see. Absolutely nothing. He Rumpus doesn't know. He's got caught in a trap where he doesn't know what calculus is. Rumpus, if it'll make you feel better, I yield to your superior knowledge of mathematics. How's that? Can we well, continue okay, but, now? But, but, I, but I want to know what you knew, not what I know. <laughs> and calculus is sometimes used by Americans. I mean, Obama sometimes uses the word calculus when he doesn't mean that he, what we in Britain would call calculus. What does calculus have to do with 4D <laughs> with time and space time, Rumpus? What does Obama have to do with I, a straight I, fucking I, I, line? I did tell you earlier, but you've forgotten. I said that without understanding calculus, it's difficult to understand 4D space time. So you're going to tell me now that you're going to... It's difficult to understand 4D space-time without you're gonna calculus. Space time, you're gonna it's like, I'm all right, just li just deal with reality, Rumpus. Come on. I'm afraid. If you could just say, we could repeat that, please. The Rumpus, shortest distance between me. two fucking he's, he's over, points. You're being over-talked again, Montreal, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> How Go does ahead. the shortest distance between two points change if I know calculus or not, Rumpus? Well, calculus... If you understand calculus, you'll understand space time. Well, not necessarily, but it'll help. What? You. If, you, if you don't understand calculus, then you don't really understand what space time's all about. Oh, I but fully you, understand <laughs> what space time is all about. You fully understand <laughs> space time. As much as you, I bet. <laughs> I don't think you do, because I've got a book on general relativity. If you understand space time, you need to understand general relativity and the um, uh, Ryman. Um, and Apparently you've got a book on survey and you don't understand fuck all about it. You have no chance in Montreal. You don't have the same book yeah, that Trump does. You don't understand anything about anything. I mean, you're a moron. The fact that you yeah, talk oh, about come on, on surveying Rumpus. and you clearly have never read a survey Leave your bigotry have, out of it. And I do understand. All right. But to understand 4D space-time, Montreal, I'm afraid I, I think you're being a little bit conceited here because it does... It, 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 <laughs> coming it, from it, you. Let me interrupt you for a second. <laughs> I just gave away this Christmas a good friend of mine, his son was interested, and I gave him one of the cop well, the, the only copy I have of The Brief History of Time yeah, by Hawkins. That, yeah, that I read that good. book twenty five years ago, Rumpus. Yeah, but that's not got a very it's not got an explanation of how the way general relativity in space time works. Oh uh, oh really? Yeah. I mean he was only I think have he you only read had it? Four. Yeah, I have. I oh. mean, it's only got four or five equations in How it. many times have you uh, read it? Uh, twice or something. But it's, Ooh, it's only not twice. It's not, a it's not a textbook for understanding space-time. Rumpus, it's, it's don't popular. try to act smart, bro. Listen, listen. We, we have various popular, degrees of education. Hold on, hold on. Don't try by saying you're educated that you can bend a straight line and tell us we don't understand math. Well, you, you cannot, yeah. you said it yourself, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. That's the definition of a straight line, and that can be a curve. It can't be a curve, because that's a contradiction of terms, no, Rumpus. If the surface that you're working on is like this, you've agreed, oh, and you don't go backwards on me, Montreal, I thought you got uh -huh. that. If, you're, if the surface you're dealing with is the surface of a football, then the shortest distance between two points is a curve. Which is a straight. Football, but do you we live on a football? This. Do we live on a football? Well, we live in a 4D yeah. space. We live in a 4D world in which you have equivalent situations to that. And he was you're, you're introducing something else. You're okay. cheating, Rumpus. No, we're not. We, well, if we live in a 4D world, we have to talk about reality. In we terms like, of we do talk about well, we reality, don't live Rumpus. In a 4D world, Rumpus. We do, and we can show this. That's what the. That's why Mercury has the orbit it does. That's why um, time changes as a result of GPS, which they have to allow when they're doing GPS. They have to allow for time dilations. Wow, serious uh, model what? reflection. <laughs> 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 Fantasy <laughs> world, <laughs> here. Oh, Come on, ramble, rolling. fucking mode. What? Well, I mean, <laughs> <don't tell laughs> the whole world that you don't understand. <laughs> 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 Press the who, press the you don't understand button. Come on. It's reliant oh. on the bending space time. It's reliant on the 4D world. Can you? Wow. <laughs> bend his space time. <laughs> bend his space time. It's just your ignorance subject. Oh, I understand. You're talking about time dilation, Rumpus. I know your story. I know your game, bro. the 4D nature of reality. <laughs> He's saying calculus right? allows him to do this. You have sit. no clue it's about the nature of reality. You have no clue. By the bending of 4D space-time. 
And that you do, do you do this with calculus? Do you? Yeah, yeah. Us? You have to know calculus to yes. figure that out. Yeah, get you draft. Get you draft. <laughs> <from> <laughs> you. <laughs> which book do you have, Rampers? Calculus. Please, I am not you're not equipped but... to understand what I'm saying, unfortunately. <laughs> Can you oh. bring me a bucky or bandy space <laughs> time? Is there any way you could you're equip us, Rumpus? Do you think you you're capable you're of equipping us? Hey, can you bring me a bucket or burn this face time? Well, that's saying, like, give you a bucket of X coordinates. Obviously, <laughs> uh, you have a stupid thing, you? Yeah. It's like, give you a bucket of X coordinates. How can I do that? You you're a moron, aren't you? You're just, you're just advertising how stupid you are. Well done. You're making it clear to me how stupid you are. Rumpus, please. A bunch of runs. <laughs> I can't hear you, Montreal. Someone's over talking you. I'm saying let's not descend in the name calling. You must understand why we make fun of the fabric of space time. You can't just say there's something called time, which is a convention, and space, which is the stuff with, between me and you, and say bam, and now we have a fabric. That's ridiculous, it's not, Rumpus. It's, but it's not, you seem to think that Einstein or whoever these the people who deal with it just make this up and think, oh, that'll do. They test. This has been tested and tested again in the real world. The mer orbit of Mercury, the change in time dilation, space time. We, we see a the time dilation change taking place in the real world. What for the lights in the sky, it. Rumpus? So you, you you have to be denying <laughs> like what? things that have been experimented upon. You don't see what do you see? <laughs> we see this in the you real find world. It, like, Rumpus. We see yeah. this in the real world. Yeah. Rumpus, they tell you there's two cesium clocks up there that uh -huh. differ by one billionth of a second, and you believe right. it, Rumpus. That's all so, it is. I know your story, bro. I know your model. Well, you don't. Well, you know the brief, superficially, you might know bits of it. But <laughs> the people who design these things do indeed tell you, but you just simply, your ignorance. I mean, all you're just saying is you don't understand it, therefore you're going to reject it. But the people who have to deal with these things, the engineers who do it, have to allow for time dilation. Where was I wrong in my houses. statement? R Rumpus, tell me, where was I wrong in my statement that I said in the satellites they use cesium clocks That's right. to determine time dilation by one billionth of a second or so? Where was I what's wrong the definition of a, What's the definition of time? What's the definition of time, Rumpus? The definition of time? Oh, he's got to Google it. He's got to Google um, it. He stumped him. The well definition done. of time. I would have to think about that to give you a proper... Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't know about. Tell him he wouldn't know until you tell him. <laughs> well, he doesn't know. Very much. He doesn't know. Yeah. Well, no, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not going to bother to Google that one. I've been, well, I could. I guess, I yeah. Go on then. Go on. Yeah. Okay, Why not? You don't have a tab on time. <laughs> Come on, Rumpus. You're slowing down. He will. It's like he's learning well, I now. Gonna, I thought yeah. you might. I it might just, come up in the future, Rumpus. It might be mind. worth having a look over it. I mean, you can. There's obviously lots of sort of waffly ways of describing mm. it. I thought you presumably want to sign. Yeah. The I mean, they just the pro. Well, they, I mean, I think it's a good one. If if you the, Rumpus the has never been asked for the definition I mean, of time the before. Of events. I mean, obviously that's the obvious bit. But I was trying to give you a more scientific yeah. version, a def definition of time. Well done. Well done, that um, man. See, I, he's a new guy, Rumpus. New guys bring in new questions like that. You've never been asked what well, the definition well, of time is. Not terribly... I mean, the thing is, if you keep on saying... It's like you don't know. Well, that's called it's regression. Like... If I say to you, how do you... I think Rumpus has just admitted say, he doesn't know what the definition of time is. Um, you can just keep on asking, Google it. why is that? Why is that? It's very easy to keep on saying, why is that? Why is that? Why is that? It's not clever. Or you can accept it, Rumpus. You have two options. What? Accept what they tell you or say why? Which do you choose? Well, there are lots of very clever people who've worked on this subject over many hundreds of years who've come to a conclusion about the way things work, and I am not as clever as them, and I haven't built on the... I can only work, read their work and then relate to you, and it's, it makes sense to me. I can see how it does work. But there are lots of very people who are much more clever than I. You're like a savant, it's Rumpus. It's just not real. He must be. He's like so, a savant. So you can just see it. Clever. So let me tell you this, Rumpus. Tell me if it makes sense for you, okay? You have one brother here, and you have another brother, and you send them into a fast-traveling 
uh, about to talk about plane. the twin paradox, are you? Yes, yes. Do you yeah, yeah. do you oh, honestly believe that one, one brother space. is going to age slower than the other? Does that yes. make logical we, sense to you? Proof, we've got proof of this. We have got the ability to check that things age more slowly. We have time. Did he delay. say we, proof? We, let, 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 be quiet. What proof? Uh, Ooh, proof. We have measured, if you can measure proof. things inside proof. Um, accelerators and see that they age more slowly. Science has got proof. We can show Here we go. Rumpus, I knew Rumpus would be the guy. Essie, go. Don't miss out on this one. Stop being a wanker and let me finish my sentence. I just we have got <laughs> things in the that demonstrate this module. I mean, you're claiming you're just going to dismiss the experiments and observations about the change in the season clock period, but that is what happens in reality. I think I'm the the season clock. Rumpus, I asked you the brother thing. Yeah, the season no, clock just... can be shown that it's one billionth. Let's let's say they can measure one billionth of a second and they show it, right? But I'm not <laughs> talking about that. I'm talking about the yeah, two the brothers. Do you yeah, actually yeah. think that yeah. one person can age slower than another yeah, because yeah, he's yeah. traveling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, because it's exactly the same thing as the time dilation that occurs in GPS. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you just simply extrapolated. I mean, the, the example they tend to give is if you accelerate up to something like ninety percent of the speed of light, and then you do it for twenty-five years or something, you'll come back and um, you'll have aged by oh, I can't remember what it is now by uh, several hundred years instead of the fifty or something you've been away. But that's just an extrapolation of the cha the things that we sure. see in GPS. Yeah. It's just a matter of multiplying the numbers. Mm. It's exactly the same effect. Rumpus, you're so clever. I'm more clever than you are, but that doesn't make me no, no, no. Clever. You're so clever. Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you think so. Um, so Montreal, we see this effect, and it's just a matter of multiplying it up, and you get the effect that they're describing in the twin paradox. I'm afraid it's based on observations that we see in the real world, and we can measure. And GPS relies on it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Only clever hey, people. Rumpus, if you that. want to believe that, uh, you ha you have to respect those somebody's right, like mine, to say no freaking way, right? Like well, there are lots of the GPS is just one example of this phenomenon. Physics books are full of, I and mean, I've got a physics several physics books which describe this in detail <laughs> mathematically and it all works because we can do things like build computers that rely on the quantum mechanics yeah. oh. like the impressive library around us and all the effects they describe work out in the real world so i'm afraid mm -hmm. they've been tested whereas your ideas have not your your skepticism uh, is just based on your ignorance turn it back on <laughs> uh, see to call him ignorant <laughs> I mean, you're just, you're just saying, you're gonna, you know nothing of this subject, yet you feel, I mean, this is done in Kruger, you, you know nothing of this subject, yet you feel you're able to dismiss it. I'm sorry. That's you mean that one I explained to you in detail oh, about how it works, that, that subject, Rumpus, the you one I explained to you, you know, about you the CGM? No, that, that's not explaining how it works. You described to me the effect. That's not describing to me oh. how it works. You have not described to me yeah. how it works. And right. to do that, you would have to understand the equations of special relativity. Yeah, you have to, and you have to understand the equations of general relativity. And you've yeah. not done any of those things. All you've done is to describe the effect. Oh, he understands them. How does a straight line work, Rampus? Yeah. I've explained it. No, no. How does a straight line work? How does a straight line work, Rampus? Is defined as the shortest distance between two points. How does that work, Rampus? Well, you see, you're just doing the classic, how does that work, how does that work? No, because you just... You just you and, list. and ultimately, you'll get, you'll get back to some philosophical point about the nature of reality. I mean, it's not very clever. Uh, yeah. oh, that's... It's, a, it's a classic <laughs> line that idiots do in when they're quizzing someone. They just simply, whenever they give them an answer, say, well, how do you prove that? How do you prove that? And no, I'm asking you. Up, and eventually you end up Same with the nature of reality. Doubling back it's not to call him an idiot. Just hmm. did, he, did he come up with a proof? Tone it down a bit, Rumpus. I Chill. missed that. I went to the toilet. No, I'm asking you, what allows you, what allows you to say that a straight line is the shortest distance between two points. What allows you to say that? Because it's a, because it's a definition. And by de you, by, you can define something, and then that definition is there, but therefore true. If I decide, if I decide the word wibbly wobbly is to stand on one leg while playing a mandolin, that is then true. The def that is, I've defined that to be the case. So if I define the concept of a straight line to be the shortest distance between two points, it is the shortest distance between two points because I've defined it to be so. <laughs> Can it be oh. shorter? I mean, you Could you define you it to be shorter than the shortest distance equipped, between two points? To talk to me. You don't understand the idea of definitions, do you? Yeah, but I'm you saying, Rumpus, 
Could you, you could you define a straight line as being not the shortest distance between two points? Well, I could do that. I could define in my own personal lexicon. I could define those sort of straight lines. Like Bob. The definition. So yeah, I could well, come up with a definition of my own. And I could say... Who gave you the authority to do so? Well, we can all it's do rumpus. that. But the point is... Well, look, anyone, can, anyone, anyone can do it. Look at that. He's been reading Bertrand <laughs> Russell. Don't worry about him. We all have one. <laughs> <laughs> but the point you, is that uh, would not agree with the exception. You are, you are a joke. My definition would be different. And He's one of the smartest globe earthers there is. If you dare the you definition of a straight say rumpus is stupid. It's a useful definition. And Ignorant. And do useful things with it. My definition would not, if I were to have what you suggested as defining a straight line, would not be a useful definition and would not be used in textbooks and things to do useful things. Like Can't you have the... like a straight line being a straight line and then you try and define it as it is? Like, start off with the straight line. And... <laughs> <laughs> that was a gibberish. That was a gibberish. <laughs> defining the straight line as... A, the, dis the shortest distance between two points is defined as that. That is because that's what a straight line is, right? Everybody by knows definition. that's what a straight line is by definition. But why, Rumpus, is that a straight line? Is my question. Don't you yeah. see? Just, How you does a straight line work, Rumpus? And you didn't understand because you're stupid. He, he can't understand. Yeah. Let's book at stupid. Obviously, the definition is a foundation, and I can def you can define things whatever you like, and you haven't understood anything I've said for the last five minutes because you're a moron. You, you, can, you can just make it however you like. What? Yeah. Like. No, like, I've not read Bertram Russell. Rumpus. Rumpus. Like, not everybody's but it might read not everybody's read Bertram Russell. In my definition, my not everyone thinks Bertram Russell is a mathematical yeah, genius like you. Redefining one for but people, you, and nobody knew what one was until Bertram Russell came along. Bertram Russell that that was a useful definition I came up with, and they'd use it. But yeah, anybody can come up with mean, this Surigati guy. Is an idiot, and he can do he likes. But no one would care because they would be not useful definitions they'd come up with. He still doesn't understand what a definition is. I mean, the guy's a moron. Wow. I'm asking you how a straight line works, and since you don't understand what I'm actually you, asking you, even though I'm spelling it out for you, in the state, you don't understand the question. So that's why you're calling me a moron. Just a minute, Saragaki. Rumpus. 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 This is bad. Rumpus. Saragaki has got a bad mic whenever somebody else starts talking it cuts his mic rumpus well i think that was spare is it intentional is that why you do it no right well if saragaki is talking please well, he's made the same give him some space time, for him to be able to talk don't overcut him like you do with right me right and right everybody right else it's here. okay because i nobody can hear you <laughs> when i'm no. talking I'm the one recording it. Unless you're recording it, Rumpus. Are you recording? No. No. Are you piping it through to anybody else listening? No. No? Just for yourself, then? Yep. Okay. Well, can you please let Saragaki hear? Because I, I want to hear well, what he's he saying. the same thing, he's now asked six times, and I then have to give him a... And you've never answer answered him yet, times. once. And it's getting a bit tedious. Because you don't know how a straight line works. Saying. Because he's stupid. Ultimately, I'm going to well, get bored of him in repeating well, the same thing. Well, yeah, the, we get so. bored of the ad homs, Rumpus. Yeah, but I get bored of you being a moron. And well, again, what tangent is, and you not understand what analytical geometry that's is. That's not going to work, Rumpus, is it? Obviously not. You don't understand how to work out the tangent to the function of y is equal to x squared. <laughs> you can't do that because you don't understand calculus. We well, know you put you the y in the, the x axis. Can, I, can nice. I? Can I? Can I say something to Rumpus before yeah, I leave? Go on, go on, go on. Rumpus, right? I've been listening to you. You are actually you are an absolute moron. Well, that's, you're not qualified to have an opinion. You're too stupid to have an opinion about this. <laughs> you're too you're too stupid to understand how stupid you are. He's gone, Rumpus. Yeah, no, but it's just typical. It's, when someone doesn't understand something's being said... They it, Rumpus, he's gone. You're, he you're, can't you're, bear you're to, to listen to you. Well, fine, he's a moron. Who cares? I mean, you're a moron. Who cares what your opinion is? You don't understand Why anything you come here, then? you talk about. 
You don't understand Rumpus, what why did you come here? You can't work out what, <clears throat> what did you come here for? You didn't come here to give anybody Rumpus. a lesson on anything. He's asking you a question, Rumpus. I've never heard of an intelligent person coming into a place where he agrees that everyone's a moron, calling them a moron, and then continuing to act like you do. You don't what actually are you, give any information, you Rumpus. You've experienced that then, Rakia. No, you're just coming here to call people morons. You sound ridiculous. And then you don't sound shit. like an intelligent person. You do not. Intelligent, high IQ people do not act like you ever. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. When no, what you do, what you're getting confused is when intelligent IQ people are dealing with people who are willing to learn. They, don't they wouldn't like come them. here. Listen, they wouldn't. Listen. If you had a high IQ and you were intelligent. And you well, knew everyone here was a moron. You would not come well, here. Right. Let me explain. Okay, that's an interesting. You're making. A, or you might like, come trying to me, educate people. Why. Like let you come with why. something to educate why with, why mm. rather than just ad homs and having insults. To explain, having to explain things, even something like basic geometry or the way the shape of the Earth, is actually quite intellectually demanding. So that's why you get intelligent people like George and Bebby coming in here. Explaining things. So it's actually quite challenging to explain quite simple things well to stupid people. It's actually intellectually demanding. So Can I that's why people engage with morons, even though they know they're morons. It's not from the split trying to get the moron to particularly people who are not interested in learning. It's the it's the exercise of trying to formulate a concise and correct explanation of things you might not have thought about. So, for instance, well, I, about geocentrism, if I'd been asked, I don't know, five mm. years ago, how would you prove that the Earth is not the centre of the solar system, how would you go about doing <sighs> that? Or how you would prove the shape of the Earth? I'd have to think of it a little bit. Rumpus, piss off with you. Earth-obsessed Earth shape thing. Nobody cares, Rumpus. Well, then why? Well, you're a flat earther, so I don't know why. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You, yes, you are. If you believe horizontal is level, you believe the Earth is flat. You presumably agree... Rumpus, that Rumpus, agree. we can practically demonstrate oh. that there are changes in elevation, yeah, therefore the Earth is not canal. flat. Yeah, we know this topography yeah. But do so you think stop canal, with your straw man, you, you absolute canal, fucking you retard. Canals, do you think canal 7,000 miles long would be horizontal? Show me a canal 7,000 miles no, long. that's not the point. If I had a canal 7,000 miles long, would it be horizontal? Show me one. I want you to give tell me the principle. If there were one to exist, I don't show me one. one. I'm asking show me one and we can measure it, Rumpus. Of the way things work, would show me a, a 7, canal 7,000 mile miles long and we can measure it. Why we can measure it. Show it to me. Show it to me. Show it to me, Rumpus. We can measure it together. Would it need to be 7,000 miles long? No, I don't think it would be. If you're... From your understanding of the way the world works, I want you to tell me whether you think a canal 7,000 miles long would be horizontal. Show me a canal 7,000 miles no, long and we can that. measure it together. You need to be drawing upon your ideas. We can measure it together, Rumpus. So deflect, so deflect, you show me where it you is. You can't even measure. imagine a canal 7,000 miles so long. How many locks would it have, Rumpus? But the answer will show that you're a flat earther. How many locks do you think it'd have? None. So we're talking about a None. stationary bit. No. Ah, we've got to imagine a 7,000 mile canal without it. any oh, locks no. on it. I'm wow. I'm asking you to imagine that situation and I'm asking you whether wow. that would be horizontal. I can't believe I haven't read the same books that yeah. Trump has There definitely wouldn't be any elevation <laughs> changes for 7,000 miles, would there? Definitely like, not. Capable of conceiving wow, that would be no amazing. Look. Where would that yeah. be? Where would there be somewhere we could have a canal that's 7,000 miles Are long without any elevation? Elevation changes of that situation. Can you think of anywhere, Rumpus? Are you not capable of conceiving mm. that situation? And Might it go round in a circle conceive, for quite a long way, right? That would be the better way. described as a thought experiment, you, with your way of thinking, would say that that... I struggle to understand how Rumpus is going to measure anything without having an understanding of what a straight line is. Right? Just define it. I've, I've define it. I, it just says whatever, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm.
I mean, you clearly, I mean, you've he could define the distance as well, couldn't he? So, so he could just redefine the yeah, distance. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll define so, that as panels under so maybe I'll redefine that canal as 7,000 miles. He could do yeah, that. One end of my road to the other could be 7,000 miles according to Rumpus. He thinks it will incriminate Just define it. So he's being dishonest here. As per you, Rumpus, you're such a tit. Incriminate me. What is this? A criminal court, is it? You and fucking you're idiot. He's, he's talking to his crowd there. So yeah. He's grandstanding. Yeah, he is. See what you're doing, DP, because you're away. It's like in uh, the <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Piss off. I don't know why you think you're uh, It's like that. Uh, did you see the first season uh, of Command when it came it out on TV? Rumpus, if you like. Oh, oh, I'm mute to them. Yeah. Rumpus. The only people listening to this are in this room. Well, unless he is actually piping it through to his uh, crowd of people, he is. whoever he is. Yeah. Obviously, he is. Do you reckon he'd have um, George or... Have you got Betty. listening in the background? Yeah, you've got to have... You've got to answer the question, DP. Betty. Betty says. Betty, ooh. Mm. I reckon Betty says. Mm. Oh, well, given the fact not to answer the question, I think I'll be off then. Yeah, fuck okay, off, okay. Rumpus. Yeah, so, yeah, you, Thanks you for just, popping by. Bear in mind, you um, didn't answer the question. That we Exio, all you didn't, well, show you me. didn't you define one for us, Rumpus. We, 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 yeah. All we heard was the fact that Rumpus you couldn't didn't even define what one was. 7,000 mile long canal either. Didn't know where the gradient of a curve was. Yeah, at the tangent point. Everybody in this panel that you didn't want to answer the question for fear. Well, we did actually go over the gradient of the curve at a point, at the tangent point. Yeah, we. No, you didn't. You did. Yeah, we did. Oh no, no, we did it the other day, Rumpus, as a group. Got it right. Yeah, we. Yeah, of course it is. You, you we that's you how we know you got it wrong, Rumpus. I didn't get it wrong at all. Of course you did. There you are. In fact, you've just demonstrated you don't understand it then. Yeah, we did. No, we told you about Rumpus. the X and the Y axis first. We, we did definitely curve. said that, Rumpus. Rumpus, do yourself a favour. Just fuck off, mate. There we go. So you, you just can't deflect. No, no, no don't let him go yet. He, he's got to know that he's fucked up again. Absolutely screwed up. Odious, and you won't answer an honest question with an honest answer Ooh. because you know you'll incriminate yourself. You anyway, messed up with the tangent that. thing, Rumpus, and you've given us, give us another chance to go over it yet again. Yet again. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Rumpus. You so we, we could put that with the bit that we did the other day when we were going over you with your tangent, tangent to uh, you horizontal. Disputed, you disputed the gradient of the curve. It's on the, the uh, it's on that video, you know, you the tangent to a horizontal. The gradient at a point is a tangent, and which means you do not understand the tangent basics. to a horizontal. Mm. Can you not remember that, Rumpus? It's on a couple of songs. You understand the basics if you dispute. The He's after another you don't understand, I think. You don't Buster. understand. Anyway, um, uh, Do you, you don't understand. See you later, Rumpus. Been good. Yeah. Right? Nice to see you. Back anytime. See you, Rumpus. Next time you Feel pass. free to monologue as much as you like whenever you're here. If you enjoyed the content, please support On The Level and future projects. Membership subscriptions are available now. Or come and get involved at Next Level Discord server. Thank you.